BL Heli 32 is the next generation of BL Heli ESC firmware. It's new code, so the obvious question is how well does it stack up with what it's replacing? So I put an S and a 32 ESC back to back to see if there was any difference to see in their performance at all. For ESCs, I've got a Lumineer 35 amp BL Heli S, and on the 32 side, it's the Wraith 32. 35 amp ESC. The motor is a Tornado T1 3500 kV uh, with a Rotorex 3045 tri blade uh, and a nice easy 3S. For configuration, both of the ESCs I had set the same settings everywhere that they're equivalent, except for the timing. Auto timing is one of the new BL Heli 32 features, so I turned that on on the 32 ESC and left the S on its normal fixed medium timing. On all these graphs we're looking at the new BL Heli 32 in green and the old BL Heli S in red. And really there isn't anything super amazing or super surprising that we'll find there. A couple minor differences that we can uh, see between them, uh, but they perform very similarly as you would hope. In our high thrust ramp uh, test we're hitting the same uh, peak RPM for both ESCs. Uh, interestingly, the uh, BL Heli 32 idle speed is just a little bit slower than the BL Heli S. Um, and it does seem to struggle a little bit um, as the RPM goes up past about half throttle. If we zoom in here a little bit, we can see where it approaches the top. The, uh, the BL Heli 32 RPM um, lags behind and then we get the little blip right at the uh, transition to full throttle where it seems to lag back a bit and then snaps back to uh, where it should be. I ran this particular log four times and we have the exact same uh, RPM curve on all of them so it's a very repeatable thing it's not just a, a fluke of a, a single test in this case. Uh, so there's something a little odd there it may, may be a um, one of the tuning settings uh, that'll make that go away. It's not a massive difference um, in performance in this case. It only ends up being about two or three grams of absolute thrust uh, where this, this uh, peak is the biggest. Uh, but it's definitely a difference in behavior uh, that we can tell here. Efficiency wise, uh, they are almost identical. Um, the BL Heli 32 falls down a little bit in the low throttle range here. We can see under about 50 watts of power. Uh, in this case, uh, we do have a clear separation where the BL Heli S is uh, giving us better efficiency. Uh, and then we'll see a, a little bit differently in the, uh, the 32 trace is a lot noisier. The amp draw traces that we have are, are a little noisier uh, on this ESC. That's probably not the fault of the firmware, but uh, certainly the, um, the construction of both the ESCs is different. The Lumineer uh, BL Heli S ESC uh, looks at least like it has a lot more bulk capacitance uh, on it where the Wraith doesn't have or doesn't appear to have quite as much. So some of the noise, uh, you know, it's not something that I would particularly worry about, uh, but we do have a clear trend of uh, uh, efficiency and when we look at the efficiency over the entire throttle range uh, you can see that just a little more clearly at half throttle everything is basically tracking uh, right on top of each other but at around quarter throttle the BL Heli S is getting very clearly higher efficiency uh, you know at, at its peak about seven grams per watt uh, versus only getting maybe four and a half five uh, on the BL Heli 32. Here's the amp draw trace for that same test ramp. You can see the BL Heli 32 um, is a lot wider, it's a thicker band. This is where the, the amp draw is, is being read as, as going up and down, um, where the BL Heli S is a little tighter, a little narrower, uh, so less we're, we're getting less noise. Uh, from that for some reason. Uh, and then we can also see up there where the BL Heli 32 ESC is struggling. We definitely have that, that you know, drop in current draw where the RPM dropped a little bit before spiking up to reach the same peak. The amp draw at uh, peak sustained is uh, just about the same between both of them. Um, it does seem to draw ever so slightly more, the BL Heli 32 draws, seems to draw ever so slightly more amps at idle uh, versus the BL Heli S. And, and this is a very tiny amount, so we're only looking at about uh, 10 milliamps here difference on that low side, uh, but it is something that we don't see on the high side quite as clearly.
and on the noise front, if we zoom in, you can see this sort of uh, you know, almost a triangle wave uh, looking form to this this trace if we come in really really close uh, on the BL Heli S and if we switch to the BL Heli 32 uh, there does not seem to be as clear a, um, a curve that we're seeing in the trace so whether this is uh, it's happening at a higher frequency uh, and my filtering isn't catching it as, as well or there's something else going on um, it's not a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but there is definitely a difference there in between the, uh, the performance of these two. If we look at acceleration performance, they're again very, very close. Um, although in this case, I did find the uh, BL Heli S actually beating out the BL Heli 32 in both acceleration and braking performance. So that could be down to the construction of these particular ESCs, not really the, the fault of the, the uh, firmware, especially because the uh, braking performance seems to be down just about the same amount, and so uh, something to do with uh, the FETs or, or what drivers they're using or, or something to that effect uh, could be the fault here. Um, but in this case, the uh, Lumineer BL Heli S ESC is giving us very clearly uh, you know, about 100,000 degrees a second per second acceleration uh, peak that it's hitting here um, compared to the BL Heli 32, BL Heli 32 hitting only about 550,000 degrees a second uh, squared acceleration and the BL Heli S getting uh, almost uh, 650,000. You can also see the uh, amp draw here between these two tests. Again, at idle, the BL Heli 32 ESC clearly drawing more but where it really matters in the middle here this is like a full throttle range and uh, the both ESC's uh, are, are drawing just about the same amount there you know if you uh, take into account kind of the, the width of the, uh, the trace. Peak draws are also very similar they both present the same uh, spike curve peak draw on both the 32 and the S where you know our sustained amp draw here is around five or six amps yeah around five amps and our peak draw is just about 14 amps uh, on a fast throttle change if we look at the rpm uh, charts for that particular test run um, we can go in and see the uh, rpm stability in this case is really quite similar maybe ever so slightly more stable on the BL heli 32 um, it's kind of hard to tell. On the full throttle, they look almost identical to me. Um, if we go to a mid or a low throttle section, um, it does look here like the, the 32 uh, RPM trace is. It's wobbling back and forth a little bit, but it seems a little more contained than the BL Heli 30 or the BL Heli S um, RPM trace, which is a lot more jagged and seems to have a lot more difficulty finding its center. Not quite as stable as the uh, KISS traces that we looked at a little while ago, but if this is a, uh, if this uh, kind of mid-throttle stability is any sort of uh, indication of what's happening throughout the, in the entire range, this is a, a nice, a nice thing to see. So there you go, very, very close uh, between all of them. No real Nothing that I can like massively say, uh, you know, the automatic timing, uh, our, our peak thrust was exactly the same, our peak RPM was exactly the same uh, for the, uh, the throttle and thrust, or the, uh, the full throttle um, peak thrust tests. Uh, motor heating seemed to be about the same between uh, both of them. Efficiency is only lower at the very low band and up everywhere that it really matters, they're identical. So there you have it.